Hello everyone, welcome to the new video in the series in which we are making Notes app and uh, in this video we will uh, migrate our current project structure to clean architecture. So what is the clean architecture? Uh, so uh, this is an uh, uh, architecture which uh, we uh, implement by using uh, a few principles and uh, this architecture allows or help us to uh, uh, structure our project uh, feature wise so we will uh, uh, name some uh, features and in each feature we have three layers data domain and presentation and uh, these are the layer which are separate to from each other and can have their own uh, specific roles and uh, they are independent from each other and uh, so yeah this is uh, the clean architecture it is uh, sometimes becomes ambiguous to understand uh, theoretically so let's uh, jump in to our uh, project and implement it so in our project we have our home screen and uh, add note screen so let's uh, run the app and uh, okay so in our project we have our home screen and uh, add and edit note screen so we will uh, categorize our project into two features uh, one is the home so we will create a package here named as feature home and another uh, is uh, feature is named as add note feature add note feature add note so in our home uh, feature we will create three layers in here first one is data domain and and presentation and in our pres presentation layer we have our uh, ui related uh, stuff uh, like uh, our ui implementation and uh, data holder class which is our view model so we will uh, move this to the presentation and uh, delete this one and uh, in our uh, domain layer uh, will contains the business logic which is required for this feature so for this feature in uh, if we see our home view model in home view model we are uh, using repository to get all the nodes and also to listen the uh, insertions of node uh, new node uh, updation of node or relation of node so this is the uh, business logic which uh, we have uh, written in here to uh, uh, complete the feature in functional state so we will uh, write our uh, use uh, in domain layer we will write the business logic and for that we will uh, write the use cases uh, make a use cases class so for that let's say uh, if we want to get all the nodes then we are calling repository dot get all nodes so in here we will create a class named as get nodes use case and uh, this class will contain the repository instance and in here we will create a suspend function here execute and uh, we are making this suspend function because uh, we uh, always want to call this executed from uh, execute function from a protein only and uh, in here we will call our repository method get all nodes and uh, this execute method will return the list of 
not model and uh, return get all nodes so let me check the repository get all nodes and we are doing mapping in here so so this is uh, that uh, we don't have to do the map map mapping stuff in our uh, nodes repository because the purpose of node repository is to get the data from the pro uh, uh, available source which is the local database and return that data so this should be the whole purpose of the repository don't it, this repository shouldn't contain any kind of uh, business logic so this is the business logic and uh, we need to remove it from here and only return the node entity from this repository and in here we will map it to uh, I would say it dot to model and uh, another thing is that uh, we always want to um, do database operation CRUD operation on IO thread so what we will do is return with context dispatches dot IO and call the method in it so this is the thing that we need to do and uh, the next thing is we need the instance of this uh, get nodes use case in our um, in our home view model so in home view model we will uh, remove this one and uh, we need the get nodes use case instance so we cannot uh, do it uh, in this way because in this way whenever the uh, during the navigation if home view model is destroyed and getting uh, created again then we will get a new instance every time when the home view model will be initialized so for that we need to to avoid that we need to apply singleton here that we always want the same instance of get nodes use case so for that we will write a static method in here which we can do through companion object and uh, it would be private wall instance get node use case and and uh, we are returning the instance from here and we are using this exclamation double mark here because uh, we are sure that uh, whenever when we reach this line this instance won't be null so now in our home view model we will call this method to get the instance and in here we will call the get nodes use case execute to get the nodes and the next uh, thing is we want to listen the insertion updation and uh, deletion node deletion operations so for that we will create another uh, use case named add as listen nodes name it as listen nodes use case
and uh, again this will have the repository instance and suspend function execute and will provide the and we are expecting these three kind of events so for that in return we need these three events any of them so for that what we will do is we will create a serial interface here named as uh, nodes event and this would be the first one let's say what will its return in our repository where is our repository in our repository we have new insertion will return not model so but uh, as uh, we have already discussed that we will won't do the mapping stuff in our repository so we will uh, uh, use a node entity in our events and done the mapping stuff in the use case so here we will create a, a data class named as insertion which will have not model and actually it would be not model and we will done the mapping stuff in our use case so this will be nodes event and the second one is updation which also provide the uh, let's say name is here insert update event and delete event what value we are expecting in delete which is the uh, integer which will be the id of uh, that uh, specific node and uh, now in return we will return this nodes event and uh, in here we are as we want to do things on uh, io thread so dispatchers dot io and uh, from our repository we will listen new node insertion listener dot collect new node and uh, actually this would be a flow because we will want to emit different kind of events at different stage whenever any insertion updation or deletion is happen uh, make sure this should be Kotlin X Kotlin flow and uh, in here we will return flow and paste it in here actually like yeah paste it in here and emit the new event insert and uh, again as we have uh, discussed that we will done the mapping stuff in our use case so for we will go to our this repository and convert it to node entity node entity and uh, emit actually this could be an uh, issue in here during insertion we will 
uh, let's uh, skip this uh, stuff here uh, that it will because it will causing us too much work to do so let's make it as it is and uh, proceed with our uh, current goal and uh, that is that uh, when any insertion happens then this will emit the that event uh, in the flow and we will be listening that event and other thing is uh, uh, repository dot uh, update listener dot collect updated not and emit that update updated not but as uh, we are seeing some high uh, warning here that uh, this is unreachable code this is because this collect method is not a completable method let's say whenever we will call this method then the execution won't be go to the uh, uh, next line uh, which with the 23 after this code of law so what we need to do is we need to wrap this into an I would say let's do it like this that uh, return with context dispatches dot io and uh, use flow in it and call the launch method here and here as well and uh, now it's perfectly fine so next is uh, we need to listen to the deletion event so repository dot delete listener dot collect which would return the i provide the id and emit north event dot delete and provide the id to this event and uh, so yeah that's it and the next is uh, we need the, the singleton instance of this one so we will create the companion function or static function in advance if it is null then we will create instance and return it and now in our home view model we will provide this to this data member listen nodes use case and listen the events here and we will define the specials road io because we want to do th uh, these operations on io thread so Next is listen north seven dot execute collect and use when condition here. Press Alt Enter to get the uh, all branches which we have and uh, call the relevant method against uh, uh, perform the relevant actions against each one so during insertion we will insert it call the insert method 
and uh, event dot value so remove this one and the next is uh, update node so copy this code from here call this here which would be event dot value dot id and event dot value and uh, remove this code of block and uh, call the against this delayed event we need to perform this operation so move it in here and event dot value so remove this code of law so now we have uh, migrated our uh, home feature to, uh, to uh, use uh, to, through use cases migrated our uh, home feature architecture to clean architecture in three layers uh, this data layer is defined as somewhere play elsewhere place uh, which is also required for other features so we will move this data layer implementation to the core feature which will be used across the other features so let's run the app and see the implementation of the home feature so let's run it okay so our app is up and running so let's uh, 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 verify that the listener on the home screen are working perfectly so first of all let's insert a new node and see is insertion is working and uh, we haven't any effect at this place so let's see the logs okay so we are not able to see anything in logs as well so so let's go to our use case and in here Uh, let's do it in this way that uh, let's do it in this way because uh, uh, I don't know the, uh, let's try it in this way that uh, this could solve our problem so let's run it uh, actually I don't have explanation why we are wrapping this uh, uh, with context in flow but uh, I think this in this way it this would work okay let's add a new node named as test node 2 and uh, test node press back button and we got an exception so the exception is that flow invariant is violated emission from another coroutine is detected for that case to mitigate this restriction is not start safe and concrete emission are prohibited to mitigate this restriction we should need to use channel flow so what we will do is we use here channel flow and use send method here ok and let's run the app again ok so now add another node test node 3 
this is a knot and uh, press back button and uh, now uh, this thing have been reflecting on our home screen okay now also verify uh, the update listener so update this note press back button update is working and let's delete this note to verify that delete listener and delete is also uh, working perfectly so uh, use case of our uh, listen notes is working perfectly on our home screen and uh, yeah that's it regarding the home feature now we will move to the add note feature and uh, define these three layer in here which is data domain and presentation and in presentation we will copy our this ui screens to the presentation okay now in our uh, add note screen we have uh, these implementation uh, like uh, insert where is the insert delete node insert node and update node these are the options that we are uh, 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 features that we are required here so let's go to our previous okay so in here um, what we will do is we will uh, create a use case here named as add not use case again this will require the repository instance and a suspend function execute and which will take the not model as parameter and uh, we don't need anything in response so we'll return nothing and in here what we will do is dispatches dot the io and in here we will apply the same logic let's cut it from here and paste it in here logic in here and uh, yeah that's it and uh, we also need the uh, singleton single instance uh, for the, uh, our screen so we will use singleton design pattern here by creating a static method companion object private var Add not use case if instance is null no, 
then create new instance and return instance okay so uh, it, it is not recommended to use this anywhere in uh, during our uh, project but uh, at this stage we are sh sure that uh, if the instance is null then we will create a new instance and assign it to it and then uh, it will always not be null at this stage so now we will this is the first use case uh, let's uh, remove this repository and uh, the second use case is uh, delete not use case which take uh, item id as a input so we will create a new another use case here named as delete not use case which need nodes repository instance so here suspend function execute take id as a input as a uh, what would say as a parameter and in here dispatchers dot io and repository dot delete and pass the id in here and uh, uh, we also need the singleton instance so a single instance of this uh, use case so we will apply a singleton design pattern here So if instance is null then we create the new instance and return the instance and uh, now we will come to our add not view model and in here we will uh, uh, provide these uh, uh, use cases instance through data members so add not use case let's use uh, we are using uh, underscore for all the data private data members so let's add the underscore in here and the delete not use case and now we will um, we also need the use case to get a specific node we already have uh, defined a get nodes use case but it will return the list of nodes but we we need a single node we, uh, 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 against which we are providing the id so what we will do is we will create another use case named as get not use case execute function it will have not id as a parameter and will return not model so return with context dispatchers dot io and 
return repository dot get id actually won't need the return again here and uh, also need the singleton instance single uh, apply singleton design pattern here so companion If it is null, then create a new instance and return it. Also, pass this and use in what I say the data member private wall get not use case. And uh, now here we will call this method get not use case dot execute and in here we will call the add not use case dot execute and pass the not model and in here delete this the item ID in here so we have uh, uh, convert the uh, uh, complete the these two layers presentation and domain layer so let's run the app and see the effect see the effect that uh, it is uh, working uh, as expected that we won't have any error at this point okay so let's add a note test not 3 this is a test not and uh, adding is working update is working and last is verified delete is working so yeah these are uh, working so the next uh, thing is that uh, we need to make a core module here which contains uh, uh, which again contains three layers so let's make it first core and which have three layers data domain and presentation and now we will uh, move our shared logic which we are using uh, for other features which is the uh, local data source so we will move it to this data layer and we are using some models which are what would i say uh, which are uh, used in both features add node and home so we will move these models to this domain layer and in uh, we have the repository which we are using for both these features so we will move this into our data layer and in our data layer we also need to define the repository in here in domain layer so which would be repository uh, uh, let's first make a package repository and what will this repository will contain is that this will contain the interface of the repository and uh, which uh, have the signatures of the required methods which we uh, are expecting from this repository and uh, 
this uh, repository will contains the uh, implementation of that uh, repository so what we will do is we will go to this repository and uh, press alt enter in here let's say refactor and extract interface from here uh, uh, let's first rename this to IMPL implementation and uh, refactor it further by extracting the interface from it extract to separate file named as nodes repository interface and we will move it to this uh, presentation and repository and uh, extract what members that we want to that we need uh, are these one let's say these and uh, the public variant of the listeners which are these one So yeah, that's it. So let's refactor it. And uh, now our if nodes repository have contains the uh, hmm, uh, contains the uh, uh, methods uh, which are. Uh, uh, required from this repository and this implementation class will have the implementation of uh, these uh, things so this is it for uh, today's video so we have to summarize that we have uh, migrated our MVVM to clean architecture so it now it will be called as MVVM with clean architecture and in clean architecture we will uh, categorize or group our app into different features and in for each feature uh, we have uh, three layers data domain presentation and uh, we have uh, wrote the implementation of uh, the, these two features add note and home feature and also use the core uh, feature which contains the shared uh, a logic which is used on, on different uh, features so let's remove this data from here because it won't be any use of this one so yeah this is it for uh, today's video so i hope this video will be helpful for you let's so let me know if you have any query regarding the clean architecture so thank you for watching bye